So my name is Aliyat Karara, and today I'm going to present my work with my colleague Ilya Hasdik at Nokia Bell Labs and my uh, PhD advisor, Professor Jing Engi. I'm a robotic researcher working with Nokia Bell Labs and recently finished my PhD at Rutgers University Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. And the title of this work is Safe Predictive Control of Four-Wheel Mobile Robots with Independent Steering and Drive. Let's uh, discuss about the motivations of this work, uh, the rise of autonomous mobile robots and their existence. Alongside human has left a huge gap in simultaneous robot safety and performance. Unlike uh, the previous uh, AGVs or automated guided vehicles that was uh, being used in the industry for like uh, longer than two, three decades. Uh, they were following predetermined path and the safety of, of this uh, type of industrial robots was just like stopping if there is a human in front of them. But uh, safety assured and smooth robots motion will increase the social acceptance of the robots in future. And the future control strategies should be able to adaptively guarantee the complex safety constraints in real time. So uh, the purpose of this work is uh, introducing a control strategy that is able to apply this type of constraints and we can uh, possibly change the danger robot in operation sign with uh, robots are safe signs in future. And the objectives of this work are we define a proper robot human safety constraints for human robot interaction. We design a flexible formulation capable of adjustable pose of desired performance and required safety. And also we discuss adaptive mobile robots do not follow a strictly defined path unlike AGVs and multi-objective safety guarantee control of autonomous mobile robots in real time is needed to operate robots within inches of human. So uh, this is the strategy that we uh, propose in this paper. So any adapt uh, autonomous mobile robot uh, working uh, uh, on any given environment has uh, multiple uh, layers. Uh, the perception layer, control layer, and decision making and planning layer. So the, the place that we are discussing that we can uh, apply these safety constraints to the robot, which increases the safety of the robot uh, more than any other layer comparing to the motion planning layer or uh, to, to, to the map, which is like based on the zone. Uh, it's on the motion controller layer, which is in real time. Uh, previously, it was just like a zero and one type of uh, safety constraint that the robot, that the robot's motor would, would stop if it was a human in front of the robot. But uh, a more advanced type of safety that can also guarantee the performance of the robot is a predictive type of controller that we can apply more complex uh, constraints to the system. The robot's dynamic is complicated and also we need to apply complex constraints to the motion of the robot. And also the dynamic of the robot is also constrained to the inputs and state constraints as well. Model predictive controller or nonlinear model predictive controller is proved to apply very complex type of constraints in real time. So the safety constraints that we define for uh, our human centric uh, control is basically using the relative location and velocity of the human and robot in real time. So the assumption here is that we are able to detect the human and robot's location, orientation, and speed uh, within a given uh, environment. And the robot's goal here is to reach to the green point when there are like humans uh, on the middle of the way and the robot wouldn't, shouldn't uh, break the human's uh, line and shouldn't uh, get too close to them. Um, it, and if the robot is close to human, it should keep the safe velocity and acceleration. 
And the overall safety set is the combination of uh, all the safety sets for any, uh, any individual. Uh, <clears throat> the safety rules uh, basically are defined in the table here. The robot going from a given point to a desired point shouldn't uh, get inside the safety bubbles around the human. These safety bubbles are a smaller circle and a bigger circle. The bigger circle uh, is to the front of the human, so the robot wouldn't break the human's line. And the smaller circle is to uh, keep the robot outside of uh, the safety zone around the human. And also, we are calling this as a keep distance from human and yield to human. And also, we need to limit the speed near human. If the robot is getting closer to human, the speed of the robot should be adjustable to that distance. And the acceleration of the robot relative with human should be acceptable that wouldn't scare or uh, cause fear around human. And why did we choose nonlinear model predictive controller? So the reason that we choose this uh, controller is its strength on applying very complex uh, constraints in real time. Uh, the objective of this controller is to reducing the tracking error or uh, getting close to the target uh, with the least amount of change in the input. So it means the input of the system should be very continuous. And the derivative of that uh, tracking error, it will also keep the motion of the robot smooth. We can uh, adjust this objective and have a multi-objective optimization that can give us different uh, solutions in future. And also we are able to apply safety constraints uh, by adding this penalty function to our uh, optimization uh, cost function. So this uh, optimal control problem, unlike the traditional optimal control uh, method, is able to apply complex state and input constraints in real time. So the optimization problem is subject to the dynamic of the robot. We know the uncertainties range in real time, and we want to keep the barrier function of the safety barrier function inside the safe set that we defined in the table. And the inputs of the system, which are the steering wheel of each wheel, the speed of each wheel are also limited. And we want to keep the side slip angle of each wheel, which is uh, causing unnecessary friction in real time, uh, close to zero, always equal to zero. So it means we don't want to have uh, any agile maneuvers and also any unacceptable maneuvers dynamically. And we are able to predict the future states of the robot by simulating this dy the dynamic of the robot and the environment uh, within the prediction horizon. So here is a demonstration of a four independent wheel type of robot. Each wheel is able to rotate independently. It can cause uh, torques by the internal uh, electric motors added to each wheel. The tire and road interaction is highly nonlinear. We are using magic formula to model this tire road interaction. The kinematic of the robot uh, contains uncertainties, and we added those uncertainties to our uh, simulation. And the dynamic of the robot relates the tire forces to the acceleration of the robot. We also embedded the actuators model in, into our uh, modeling as well, where the voltage of the motor will cause the torque and velocity of each other. So here is the full state space of the robot. There are uh, eight inputs and 10 states for this robot, and the system is uh, highly overactuated. Eight inputs and three degree of freedom. We have uh, five degree of overactuation on this system. And here are like the results when the robot is trying to get to the target. There are two humans facing each other on the in the middle of the on the middle of the bay, and the robot will bypass them smoothly. In 
and you can see on the figure on top, the uh, robot will get to the target without getting close to human. And here all like uh, on the left, you can see the robot starts from different initial points and it will not get close to human when it reaches the target as uh, smooth and fast as possible. And on the left, you can see between time seven to nine, there are some oscillations, which is caused by the external disturbances that we added to the voltage and uh, sensor data. And as a conclusion, this work demonstrates we are able to uh, apply safety constraints for human centric environments. And we can embed these safety constraints directly to the controller. And the controller produces robust and efficient motions. And we are able to implement control value functions as safety constraints through our nonlinear model predictive controller. And we implemented and validated our work with uh, simulations in MATLAB and Gazebo. And in future, we will test this algorithm on real robots for more validations in more realistic environments. And we want to integrate this work with motion planner and local planner. And we would say thanks to all the uh, colleagues that helped us on preparing this work, uh, the partners, and uh, giving us really good comments. Thank you. Please ask if there are any questions.